Afro-Celt Sound System is a British musical group who fuse electronic music with traditional Gaelic and West African music. Afro-Celt Sound System was formed in 1995 by producer-guitarist Simon Emerson, and feature a wide range of guest artists. In 2003 they temporarily changed their name to Afro-Celts before reverting to their original name. Their albums have been released through Peter Gabriel's Real World Records, and they have frequently performed at WOMAD festivals worldwide. Their sales on the label are exceeded only by Gabriel himself. Their recording contract with Real World was for five albums, of which Volume 5, Anatomic was the last. After a number of festival dates in 2007, the band went on hiatus. In 2010, they regrouped to play a number of shows, releasing a remastered retrospective titled Capture. On May 20, 2014, Afro-Celt Sound System announced the release of the album Born. In January 2016, a posting to that website revealed that due to a dispute with Emerson, who announced his departure from the band in 2015. There were two active versions of the band, a version led by Emerson and a separate lineup headed by James McNally and Martin Russell. Emerson's version of the band released the album The Source in 2016. The dispute ended on December 21, 2016, with an announcement on social media. The band released their eighth studio album, Flight, on November 23, 2018. The inspiration behind the project dates back to 1991, when Simon Emerson, a Grammy Award-nominated British producer and guitarist, collaborated with Afro-pop star Baba Mall. While making an album with Mall in Senegal, Emerson was struck by the similarity between one African melody and a traditional Irish air. Back in London, Irish musician Davy Spillane told Emerson about a belief that nomadic Celts lived in Africa or India before they migrated to Western Europe. Whether or not the theory was true, Emerson was intrigued by the two countries' musical affinities. In an experiment that would prove successful, Emerson brought two members of Baba Mall's band together with traditional Irish musicians to see what kind of music the two groups would create. Adding a dash of modern sound, Emerson also brought in English dance mixers for an electronic beat. People thought I was mad when I touted the idea, Emerson told Jim Carroll of the Irish Times. At the time, I was out of favor with the London club scene. I was broken on income support but the success was extraordinary. Jamming in the studios at Real World, musician Peter Gabriel's recording facilities in Wiltshire, England, the group of musicians recorded the basis of their first album in one week. This album, Volume 1, Sound Magic, was released by Real World Records in 1996, and marked the debut of the Afro-Celt sound system. Prior to that first album being made, none of us knew if it would work, musician James McNally told Larry Katz of the Boston Herald. We were strangers who didn't even speak the same language. But we were bowled over by this communication that took place beyond. Language. McNally, who grew up second-generation Irish in London, played whistles, keyboards, piano, warren, and bamboo flute. Sound Magic has now sold over 300,000 copies. The band performed at festivals, raves, and dance clubs and regularly included two African musicians, Moses Sissoko on talking drum and Jembe and Feli Kuyate on vocals, Cora and Balafon. Just as the second album was getting off the ground, one of the group's core musicians, 27-year-old keyboardist Joe Bruce, died suddenly of an asthma attack. The band was devastated, and the album was put on hold. Sinead O'Connor then collaborated with the band and helped them cope with their loss. O'Connor, blew into the studio on a windy November night and blew away again leaving us something incredibly emotional and powerful, McNally told Katz. We had this track we didn't know what to do with. Sinead scribbled a few lyrics and bang. She left us completely choked up. The band used the name of O'Connor's song, Release, for the title of their album. Volume 2, release was released in 1999, and by the spring of 2000 it had sold more than half a million copies worldwide. Release is also used as one of the GCSE music set works in the UK that students are required to study for their exam. In 2000, the group was nominated for a Grammy Award in the Best World Music category. The band, composed at the time of eight members from six countries, took pride in its ability to bring people together through music. We can communicate anywhere at any corner of the planet and feel that we're at home, McNally told Patrick McDonald of the Seattle Times. We're breaking down categories of world music and rock music and black music. We leave a door open to communicate with each other's traditions. And it's changed our lives. In 2001, the group released Volume 3, Further in Time, which climbed to number one on Billboard's top world music albums chart. 
Featuring guest spots by Peter Gabriel and Robert Plant, the album also incorporated a heightened African sound. On the first two records, the pendulum swung more toward the Celtic, London club side of the equation, Emerson told the Irish Times Carol. For this one, we wanted to have more African vocals and input than we'd done before. Again the Afro-Celt sound system met with success. Chuck Taylor of Billboard praised the album as a cultural phenomenon that bursts past the traditional boundaries of contemporary music. The single When You're Falling, with vocals by Gabriel, became a radio hit in the United States. In 2003, for the Seat album, they changed their name to Afro-Celts. They reverted to the longer band name for their subsequent albums, Pod, a compilation of new mixes of songs from the first four albums, Volume 5, Anatomic, and Capture. They played a number of shows to promote Volume 5, Anatomic in 2006 and Summer 2007, ending with a gig in Korea, before taking an extended break to work on side projects, amongst them the Imagine Village featuring Simon Emerson and Johnny Kelsey. Starting in the summer of 2010, the band performed a series of live shows to promote Capture, released on September 6, 2010 on Real World Records. Further performances continue to the present day, and a new album in progress titled Born was announced on their website in 2014. Following the split, Emerson's version of the band released the album The Source in 2016. During 2015, the band had split into two formations, one of them including Simon Emerson, Feli Kouyaté and Johnny Kelsey, the other one James McNally and Martin Russell. The split was announced on the band's website in January 2016. The dispute officially ended with an announcement on social media on December 21, 2016. Simon Emerson, James McNally and Martin Russell are pleased to announce that they have been able to set aside their differences and come to an amicable agreement to bring their dispute to an end. Going forward, McNally, Russell and Emerson have agreed that Emerson will continue to perform as Afro-Celt Sound System and McNally and Russell will work under a new name to be announced in due course. While McNally, Russell and Emerson will no longer be performing or working together they recognize, and are grateful for each other's contribution to Afro-Celt Sound system over the past two decades and will be working with the extensive community of musicians that make up the long-standing Afro-Celt Sound System family. When Afro-Celt Sound System formed in the mid-1990s during the Real World Recording Week, the difference between a guest artist and a band member was virtually non-existent. However, over time, a combination of people became most often associated with the name Afro-Celt Sound System. The divided grouping of the band into two versions, both operating under the name Afro-Celt Sound System, began in January 2016 and was resolved in December 2016 after McNally and Russell agreed to work under a different name from Emerson. Russell slash MC Nally version other musicians who have performed or recorded with Afro-Celt Sound System include, Jimmy Mahan, Demba Berry, Barbara Bangura. Yorla O. Leonard, Peter Gabriel, Robert Plant, Pete Lockett, Sinead O'Connor, Pina Collar, Dorothy Munyaneza, Savara Nazarkin, Simon Massey. Jesse Cook, Martin Hayes, Eileen Ivers, Mundy, Mairead Nee Waney and Kieran Torish of Alton, Ronan Brown, Michael McGoldrick, Mirden, Shugal Nifty. Mairead Nesbitt, Nigel Eaton, Davy Spillane, Jonas Bruce, Heather Nova, Julie Murphy, and Ayub Ogata, Caroline Lavelle, Ross Ainsley. They also recorded the soundtrack for the PC game Magic and Mayhem, released in 1998. Thanks for watching.